Now, when it comes to prep, just a minute. Oh, it's just spam. Now, when we started this conversation about propositional logic and compound statements and so forth, I told you about this idea of being able to determine when we should ring a telephone, right? Ring a cell phone. And I came up with a rather complicated uh, set of requirements. I'm going to limit that a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to work through that to see if we can't come up with a truth table to represent that. And so what I've got is if a phone is not muted, all right, and that was, that was one of the requirements. First of all, the phone has to be muted. And the, let's see, and I'm going to do something that is very not grammatically correct. I'm going to use parentheses in a sentence. Um, so uh, let's see, calls are silenced at night and it is not night. Okay, so what I've got is, so the phone is not muted and calls are silenced at night. That's a configuration, so that's a true false thing, right? Calls are silenced at night and it is not night. So if it, if it happens not at night, and calls are silenced, um, we can ring the phone, right? And uh, or let's see, calls are not silenced at night. All right. Now, this is the idea of the phone ringing, right? So I'm just looking right now at phone is not muted and calls are silenced at night and it is not night, so it's okay to ring. Or if the calls are not silenced at night, we don't care what time of the day it is, all right? Now, so if, if this is all true, then that implies the phone rings. That makes sense, all right? Now, it turns out that this is really a compound a, a compound statement. And in fact, let's go ahead and come up with our, our atomic propositions. So first of all, P, phone is muted. Now I realize I set up here that the phone is not muted, but what we're doing, this is, this is the phone is muted. Phone is not muted, that's actually the negation of that guy, right? And then we can have Q is calls, silenced at night. All right. So that's that guy right there. And then let's see, PQR. So R, it is night. I'm making these in the positive. So, so it is night. It is not night would be the negation of R, right? And then we have S, phone rings. All right. Now, what does this look like if I were to make this in a compound uh, sentence? Well, first of all, phone is not muted. That is not P, right? And, well, we substitute our caret for the and symbol, right? And then inside of these parentheses, which are not grammatically correct, I've got calls are silenced at night. Well, that's just Q. And, so there's another caret not night. So it is night, not night is not R. And then we have this or, which is the little V, calls are not silenced at night. So that would be not Q. All right. So turns out that this requirement here from here to here is this not P and, and then in parentheses, Q and not R or not Q, forgot that last paren, right? And, and then this, uh, and in fact, I, I, sh I shouldn't have written that arrow there. I should have written it as a sentence. If phone is not muted and blah, 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 then phone rings. And so I sort of got ahead of myself. That implies S, all right? So there is the expression that represents that sentence. Wow. All right. Now, what I'd like to do is take just this first part of it, 
the uh, take out the implies. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I'm going to do the truth table for this bit right here. Let me go ahead and clear the board so I have some room for this truth table, and then we'll get started. Before we evaluate the whole statement, even before we evaluate just what's on the left-hand side of that implies symbol, I'm actually going to look at what's inside the parentheses. And I'll show you, there's an important reason why we're doing this. So first of all, we've got this Q and not R. That needs to be determined first before we OR it with not Q. Well, I'm going to make a truth table. And what I've got is I have two propositions here. I have Q and I have R, right? Well, in Q and R, there are four possible ways that they can be set. We have two propositions, two to the two, four ways that we can assign trues and false to them. So we have false, false, both are false. Then we have Q is false, R is true. And then Q is true, R is false, and then both of them are true. Those are the only ways that we can do that. That's the only ways we can assign trues and falses to Q and R. Now, for both of these propositions, both of these statements, Q and R, both of them at some point are going to require their negation. So let's go ahead and figure those out now. We're going to go ahead and figure out not Q, and we're also going to figure out not R. So not Q, everywhere Q is a false, it's going to have Q, not Q as a true. And everywhere Q is a true, not Q is going to be a false. Similarly for R, everywhere R is a false, R, not R is going to be a true. And everywhere that R is true, not R is going to be false. All right. Now, next, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't calculate what's inside of those parentheses. Remember, we've got an order of operations here. We do what's inside the parentheses first before we can do anything that's a combination outside of the parentheses. So we're going to do Q ended with not R. What is that going to give us? Well, that's this column right here anded with this column right here. Now the and says that the only way that the compound statement of, a, of an and, the conjunction, is going to output a true is if all of the propositions that are being anded together are also true. And that only occurs for this one row right here, the third row down, where both Q and R, are, and not R, are true. Everywhere else, there's at least one false proposition so we've got all falses, all right? Now, next, now we've got what's done inside the parentheses. Now what we need to do is OR it with not Q. And so what we're going to have is Q and not R ORed with not Q. And that's going to take this column, this not Q column, and it's going to OR it with this. Now the OR said, we don't care, either one of the propositions or both of the propositions can be true, that'll make the compound statement true. So we've got true ORed with false, that's a true. True ORed with false, that's a true. False ORed with true, that's a true. And false ORed with false. That is the only case where we output a false. All right, so this is the truth table for everything inside of those parentheses. Turns out, however, there's a simpler expression that will produce exactly that same truth table, and hence, it's equivalent. And that is not Q ORed with not R. In other words, the OR of these two columns. Now remember, the only time that an OR outputs or the OR results in a false statement is if all the propositions being OR'd together are false. Well, the only time that happens is in this bottom row. So you have false OR'd with false, that gives you a false. Every single other row, when we're ORing not Q with not R, we see that there's at least one true in that, prop, in that compound statement. And notice that this is equal to this, which means that everything inside of those parentheses can be replaced with just not Q or with not R. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's do the truth table for this guy. A lot easier, right? And once again, we're just going to do what's to the left of the implies. So we've got P, we've got Q, and we've got R. 
This time we have three propositions, three statements. And those three propositions can take on two to the three or eight possible combinations of trues and false. Now, for eight of them, for, for, for half of those eight, P is going to be false. For the other half, P is going to be true. So let's just go ahead and do false, 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 and then four trues. True, 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 true. All right. Now, for half of the time that P is a false, Q is going to be false also. For the other half, it's going to be true. Same is true for the four times that P is true. So we're going to go ahead and put two falses and two trues, and then two falses and then two trues. And that gives us every possible combination for P and Q with two for each one of those combinations so that we can alternate back and forth between false and true for R. Now, let's take a look at this. Remember, first thing we do is parentheses. Well, actually, the first thing that we do is any knots that are directly associated with any one of the, um, any one of the uh, propositions. So we are actually going to have to have columns for not P, not Q, and not R. But after that, then we do things that are the parentheses. Anything that is anded then gets done. Anything that is ORed then gets done. Now, remember, inside the parentheses, yes, we have an OR, but we have to perform that before we can AND with this NOT P. Let's go ahead and figure out our NOT P, our NOT Q, and our NOT R's. All right. So the P, everywhere there's a t an F, we make a T. Everywhere there's a T, we make an F. And then the same thing for Q. So we have T, T, F, F, T, T, F, F, and then R, same thing. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And the interesting thing is, is by inverting all the inputs, it really looks like we've just taken all of our rows of the truth table, flipped them upside down, right? All the trues are at the top, all the falses are at the bottom, and we've basically done it in the reverse order. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to OR Q not Q with not R. So we have not Q ORed with not R. And that's going to give us the, this col these two columns ORed together right here. And remember, the only time that we output or the only time that this proposition is going or this compound statement is false is when all of the statements inside that are being ORed together are false. And so that is in this bottom row and then in this fourth row. All right, those are the only times when all of our propositions being ORed together are false. Otherwise, there is at least one true proposition being ORed together. And there you go. All right, now the last step. We've got P not P being ANDed with not Q or not R. Now that's this column right here being ANDed with this column. And the only time the only the only time a conjunction results in a true is if all the propositions being ANDed together are true. So we have true and true, true, true and true, true, true and true, true. And it turns out the last four rows, P and not P is false. And for this fourth row, not Q or not R is false. So all the other rows, these last five rows, are all false. All right. Now, question is, is does this make sense? Well, first of all, remember what P is. P is the phone is muted, right? And so the phone is muted if the, the, for these four rows, phone is not muted. And for these last four rows, phone is muted. Well, this kind of makes sense. As long as the phone is muted, we are not going to ring, right? Oh, but now what about here where the phone is not muted? Then we have to look at this night and day and call silence at night sort of thing. 
So if the calls, remember Q was that calls are silenced at night. For the first two right here, we've got that for the first two rows, the calls are not silenced at night, which means regardless of the time of day, we can allow that phone to ring. For the next two rows, for row three and row four, however, calls are silenced at night, which means the only time we are going to ring is if it is not night, which is right there. So it is not R. Remember, R said it was night. So a false for R means it's not night, which means it can ring. Otherwise, if calls are silenced at night and it is night, we're not going to ring. So the truth table actually worked out that our expression up there is correct, even with our simplification right there. Now, as far as the implies S, remember that implies S or implies in general says that if this side, if, if the P part, if this portion right here is true, then S is going to be true. In other words, we've got, if, if it's okay to ring and the phone is supposed to ring, it will ring. So we've got this truth table right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put over here, not P and not Q or with not R and then S. And so since there are really two items here, we've got what's on the left side of the implies and what's on the right side of the implies. We've got false, 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 true, true, false, true, true. Now the not P and not Q or not R implies S. Now, something that we're gonna see here is that there's actually an error in what I've written up here. I mean, I converted it based on the if then, right? Now, what we've got is that if this is true, it implies that the phone can ring. But when we do this up here, we see that the truth table for implies is true, true, false, true. Now, what we're looking at here is saying that, okay, if the phone's not supposed to ring, then the phone doesn't ring, that's true. If the phone's not supposed to ring, but the phone is ringing, that's okay. No, it's not. Because then what we'll see is we need to modify what our sentence said. Now what this says is that the phone is allowed to ring, but when it's being asked to ring, it's not ringing. That is what we want to say. We wanna say that that's a wrong condition. This says that if the phone is allowed to ring and it is ringing, it is able to ring, then that's okay. So what we're seeing here is that this is actually not quite true. This should be a false here. Well, do you remember what the truth table was that was true, false, false, true? Yeah, it was if and only if. So this should actually not be an implies. It should be that if and only if this is capable, if this is the situation, should we be ringing. So we should actually have the if and only if symbol there. That will then make our truth table correct. So using the truth table, we were able to do a couple of things. First of all, we were able to simplify an expression. Remember, we were able to simplify what was inside the parentheses, but we were also able to, going through these steps, validate whether our expression was correct or not.